Uh, first tool I, uh, um, I, I'm going to show you is a selection of tools and what they're called are Kempers. Um, now, probably um, the, the uh, writing is faded. But these here, and I do suggest take notes um, and um, uh, the, you, uh, I'll give you all the information and if, if you forget about it or anything like that, just send me a message and um, I'll post it uh, uh, up on, uh, or I'll answer uh, your message on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, these camper tools are the best. Uh, these are the ones that uh, you will see on Stan Winston's. Um, any of the um, big guys that uh, are sculpting out there on Instagram for uh, what, legacy effects um, or uh, Millennium, any of them, um, uh, you will see them using this one. This is a, a Kemper W21. Now they come in a range and uh, the range have diff uh, different loops. These are loop tools. Um, they, have, uh, they come in different loops and different shapes and sizes. Um, and you can see that one there. Um, this is the one I'm going to actually make, this one here. But you can see that this is looped around and that's a shallower loop. Um, but this one here, if I didn't have any tool with me at all, this is the tool that I would want. This is the tool that I give everybody on, uh, on the sculpting courses that uh, I do, as well as all the uh, as tools. Um, I'm going to show you how I do them. Um, um, but this is the one, if you haven't got it, get it. So it's a Kemper W21. Where do you get them? You get them from America. Go on to eBay and uh, you will f uh, find them. Uh, it's the first search, well, it's the first search that I had. Uh, more and More uh, is the name of the eBay place. And uh, I think... Uh, they're about three dollars each. I think it's about twenty six dollars for a set. That's not including shipping, lads. I buy usually about twenty at a time, and it uh, um, and it's about eighty euro to uh, to get them here. Now these ones here, I'm just going to show you the difference. Uh, these ones here are just wooden tools, um, and these we want that one there. You get that in any craft and hobby store. Um, this one here, it's the same, looks the same, um, but it's not. This one here you get from Taranti. This one here you get from any anywhere uh, in, in the country. Um, you get an Art and Happy store, you get in Kriegel Art and Galway, uh, you get in Evans's. Evans's, uh, I have to say, are, uh, everything nearly uh, that I'm going to use today is from Evans's, uh, apart from a few, a few bits and bobs. But that one there is from Taranti. I have that 20 years. These here tend to break. Um, this one here you can see it's a little bit chipped on top. Um, I'm going to sand that and this it's orange wood uh, and it's absolutely mm. solid so um, th those there you can get the really 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 cheap and um, I, I would advise anybody to, uh, to, get, uh, to get get a set of them I only ever use one you get a pack and there will be loads of them in the pack this is the one I use that's the one I use um, so next Let's stay on the loop tools and the ones that you can buy. These ones here, now excuse me, uh, they're a bit dirty because they're, they're a little bit coming off the skull. Uh, these here um, I got from Neil's Materials and these are big loop tools and you can see the size and they're huge. Now what's in them, um, it's, uh, it's not complicated at all. What's in them is a bandsaw blade and uh, for these they probably use brand new ones. But me, I keep all my bandsaw blades. And uh, I then uh, use them and uh, make tools out of them. I have one prepped and ready to go, and I'm going to show you how I do that as well. And um, that one there is just a different size. Um, do I use them? Yes, I do. Um, but I prefer my own. Um, this one here, um, uh, it's a lovely tool. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's a lovely tool. What it is is for making really small wrinkles, really small wrinkles. You can probably see it better there. Um, so that that there. Um, is uh, you just drag it along the skin. You can just see it uh, marking it, my uh, marking it on my skin like that, lads. Today I'm possibly not going to have uh, time to show you how to sculpt with these. But what my intention is is that uh, if we can all get a selection of tools, very simple tools. I'm going to show you really simple tools uh, later on, and uh, that you can literally make from your kitchen. Um, and if you can all get uh, some clay. Um, I'll, sh I'll go through the art as well where you get clay and um, uh, my intention as I said before for people who are just coming in uh, I'm going to put a live stream out on uh, every Saturday and uh, I will sculpt on Saturday and I'll answer questions or try and help people sculpt 
Uh, I'm also going to do it on Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. Um, um, so uh, now that's 3 o'clock in Ireland. Um, so uh, uh, I'll try and help people as much as possible. This tool here, uh, I, again, I got them from uh, Neil's Materials uh, in England. Uh, this one here is uh, for making pores. Now I don't really use it, um, but uh, I use it sometimes, but uh, I tend to use the W21 uh, for pores. Um, or uh, a loop tool, um, but and I'm going to show you how to make those loop tools in a minute. So they're the ones that you get in nails. And you're probably talking. I think I, I think that was about forty-five pounds for all of them. Um, I'm going to show you how to make one for about three fifty. Um, so uh, you do the maths. So. The good thing about knowing, uh, uh, like buy the materials, uh, uh, oh, sorry, buy the tools. Uh, there's loads of places out there that sell really, really good tools. And I'm going to show you um, uh, where and uh, what tools they are and where you get them. But you should always know how to make them because they are going to break. Um, these ones here, um, you will, they will break right there. The campers, they always break right there. And I'm going to show you how to... Um, um, break right there and I'm going to show you how to uh, make the tool from scratch when you know how to make the tool from scratch you'll be able to repair this and it'll last uh, a lifetime so whether you buy the tools or not you should know how to um, uh, uh, make them so I'm uh, just going to go through another selection and um, these ones here uh, these are you get these in Aldi uh, if you see them uh, they're there they're a little bit of fiber and um, they come in the selection they're a silicone tip if they're like a brush very very handy. Um, uh, uh, there's tools I'm not going to explain, but I'll explain when you see me using them. Um, last day, uh, the people were asking what was I, what did I have on my fingertips? Um, I had these. Um, now these here are uh, for counting money, and what they are is you put them on your fingertips, and uh, the big one, the color coded uh, for the uh, different sizes, and. Um, they go on your fingertips and you can literally sculpt um, uh, like that with your fingers dragging along the clay, getting uh, uh, in detail, getting in form and smoothing it all out. Those there are for counting money and you will get them um, from any uh, sta stationery shop. Um, I even think they have them in um, Deals or uh, Mr. Price, but any stationery shop you will get them. Um, you will buy a packet, uh, but the packet will have loads of these in they come in different sizes so uh, you, uh, you might be able to buy some out of the packets but uh, they are extremely handy extremely useful so um yeah a lot of my tools are not tools that you would use for uh like they're not they are not tools they're made for something else uh, this one here uh, this is not a normal chip brush laminating brush really really cheap uh, it's about that length. Uh, when I buy them, I cut the, uh, uh, this all, uh, off a bit and a half, and it's like a bristle brush. And that there is fantastic for sculpting, uh, smoothing off, or um, getting balls out with talc. Um, um, but this is this here on the other end. This is a clever. This is really clever. Um, now, uh, a lot of the tools I have are are actually going to look like the tools uh, fr uh, from this place. Um, but they're not. They're, I've made them myself. Um, but the uh, Ken's tools, Ken's tools in America. Um, look it up on Instagram, and they're uh, they're uh, they're uh, on the Ken's tools. Uh, lovely guy. He three three D printed. Uh, he's a sculptor himself, and does fantastic stuff too. He three D printed this base, and the base would fit onto the uh, bristle brush. Um, it's Allen keyed on, and you can take it off and on because these get worn out uh, every now and again. Um, if you want to buy just the brush, you get them from uh, I get them from MBFG and my big friendly giant. Um, but what's on the end here? It looks like a dog brush. This here is a dog brush. That there. Now, um, what it actually originally looked like. Me while I get it. Is that? Um, so that's what it originally looked like. Uh, I bought it from the uh, pet shop. Cut it down uh, to size. Now, uh, ideally, get the. Uh, you can get ones for rabbits and dogs and cats. Um, uh, the smallest, the uh, the better. 
Now what is brilliant about this as opposed to this, uh, it is really handy and really useful. This here, you can wrap around your finger like that. You can literally wrap around your finger and get into the detail. And it, uh, it's, it's just a lot easier and nicer to hold uh, than this. These are can be a little bit harsh, um, but uh, Ken's tools, that's where you would get these from. Um, but they, they are brilliant. Um, so bristle brush and the attachment at the end um, to be honest lad, I don't know what mm. that's called if you if you ask Ken um, what's the dog brush uh, he, he'll know what you're talking about the attachment for the bristle brush um, so that's dog brush uh, and Ken tools uh, in America uh, dog brush now they do other tools as well and um, they do tools like these I'm just going to show you them now I've made these tools, um, so these tools are, um, this is actually what I'm going to make in front of you. So these tools are tools that uh, are made from K and S. K and S, uh, basically they're an American company and they will sell um, a brass, aluminium, copper rods, copper tubes, um, no, rods, tubes tubes being hollow, rod being solid, um, you will get them in hexagonal tubes, you will get them in uh, round tubes, square tubes. Now the ones that um, I'm going to use today are these ones here. And I'll just give you all Is everybody all right out there? Now I don't know if there's a lag or not, I'm hoping that everybody uh, can see this. Um, if you can, give me a thumbs up um, or a smiley face. Or, and don't forget to share this, lads. I want to get everybody, as many people as po possible, sculpting as quickly as possible. So you see at the top it says K, K and S, and it has a number. When you go on to uh, the K and S website, it is extremely mesmerizing. And there are so many tools uh, there, it is mind-boggling. Uh, oh, sorry, not tools, but uh, tubes and rods. Um, all you need to look at is the number. So uh, these are the two that I use the most. Uh, the 8129 and the 8130. They're the ones I use uh, the most. What they are, are brass. Now, they are about three to four euros each. You will get them in Ireland uh, you will get them from Mark's Models. So go online, Mark's Models will sell it. Uh, they're in Raccoon in Dublin and uh, they're uh, very efficient. Uh, and what you can get off them, which I thought was absolutely brilliant, is this. I don't know if we can all see that. Basically, it's a bag um, that is uh, odd sizes. And uh, you can see in there, there's all sorts of different uh, sizes in there. Nearly every single tool I've made is made out of this bag and you're talking that bag cost about I don't know uh, I think it was 20 euros uh, you would get them in any hobby store uh, uh, whether it's in England or America K and S they are an American company now if you don't have much money you can get the 8104 the 8104 is aluminium and uh, the aluminium uh, is uh, it's lighter it's not as strong um, but for what we want to do with sculpting, uh, it is, uh, it, it's strong enough. So, and you could get the 8104 and then uh, the one uh, up from that would be the 8105. So it goes like that. Uh, the number goes up and what's, uh, the bigger they get. And what's handy about them, they are telescopic. They will fit in and out of each other. And um, so you could make uh, something really, really strong and uh, narrow down the pinpoints uh, of the holes of the tube. What these are actually used for, or well, in my trade anyway, are for uh, making animatronics and doing stop motion animation. So what, what I'm going to start with is, I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to use tools to um, show you how to, uh, uh, how to make them. And, um, uh, and I'll go through those tools as well. So uh, the first one I'm going to make is this one. And this one here is one of the uh, best tools that I've got. Uh, I use an awful lot. This is a variation of it, this here. Um, it, basically, all it is, it's, it's a smaller loop on it than this loop here. 
Um, I hope that's in focus, uh, lads, because uh, I can't really see my screen because uh, um, I'm blind to within in a foot. So uh, I'm going to make this one here. So th what I would start off with, I'm going to get rid of these for a minute, um, is let's get the tube out. So we end up with a tube that, uh, that size. Now this one's a little bit kink. Now, what these tubes are, are um, I think it's uh, 103, 100, no, 105 uh, millimeters uh, in length. So the whole length of it, the length of it is uh, uh, 305. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and now a lot of tools you'll see, uh, they're, they're, that I bought that, it's quite long. It doesn't need to be that long. It doesn't need to be that long at all. Um, I quite like it uh, to be uh, uh, this size here. That size there, now it fits in the palm of my hand like that there, and um, uh, so what I do is I get one of these, and that uh, that length there will uh, cost you I think it's one fifty, one fifty for that, and uh, what I, I'm going to use a vernier uh, calipers, and I've set it to uh, one third of the length of the tube, so um, and the reason I'm using the verniers and um, uh, what I'm doing, is I'm not, I'm, the way I mark it is that I'm just going to scrape it so I can see what the mark is. And the reason I use the venue is it's the exact same measurement every single time because I do this a lot and um, once I've set it, um, I can just leave it set and keep using it. This tool is what we want to use next. This here is a, a pipe cutting tool. You would get this in any hardware store. Uh, it's for cutting copper pipes. Uh, uh, like uh, you know, stuff for plumbing for your own, for your house, and uh, what it has is a cutting wheel and it has two rolling wheels um, uh, that keep the material sort of level and square to the uh, to the cutting wheel. So I'm gonna get the mark that I've already marked. I hope people can see this, and um, I'm gonna twist this to the mark and start um, twisting it around. When I twist that, this goes in, the cutting wheel goes in that little bit. Don't push it in too much. If you push it in too much, it's not going to cut and it just hops off like that. Now what's lovely about this is this end here, the cut end, there's no burr, burr on it. There's no sharp edge on it, so it's not going to cut you. So I'm just going to do that again, do it quickly. So open it back out again. Bit fiddly, and and twist it and onto the mark that I've made with the. I don't know if people can see that, not with the shadows. So twist it, tighten it, twist it. This here, um, it probably cost about what, five, six euros to get this pipe cutter, and it is a lifesaver. Now cut. Now the um it. If you're going to use a uh, brass, um, the brass, as in the, uh, the brass, you want this one here, that colour there, that brass, this is copper, this is brass, this is quite hard, um, so um, the aluminium is quite soft to cut. So what I'm going to use next is, uh, now my table has a bit of a slant on it, what I'm going to use next uh, to create a tool is, I'm going, this, is what, this is actually the tool I want to make. Is this is this here? So um, this this tool I use an awful lot. Now uh, I'm going to make it with guitar string, and um, I use two different types of guitar string. One is a uh, bass string, and one is a uh, guitar string. So um, it, this one here is six ninety five. This one here is twenty two fifty. Now this is a full set. You don't need a full set. So what you could do is um, uh, we figure out what uh, string you use the most and um, uh, you, uh, you could just buy, I think it's about two euro then uh, per string. Uh, but what I do like to use is the bass strings. The reason why I like to use the bass strings is because they are that little bit stronger. Um, so I'm going to show you, if you get one, um, So 
So this here, you can see uh, it, it's a bass string. And if you look at uh, the back, it's a G. And um, so this one here, uh, I use that, uh, the G on the bass string, I use that an awful lot. Uh, that is this, that is that one there. So um, uh, we're gonna make that tool. I'm gonna show you how to make that tool. So what you need to make the tool is the snips. So, ordinary pair of snips. And cut 50 mil off. Now, uh, people might not have this stuff at home. And that's okay. Um, but as far as I know, well, that's a bit longer than 50 mil, but it'll be fine. Uh, as far as I know, um, we can still buy things online. Um, so there's a lot of stuff here that is cheap that we can get delivered to the door. Uh, we can get it on eBay, um, uh, whatever, uh, and uh, get it shipped to the door, get it, uh, get it from Amazon. I got them in Galway from uh, Poles, from a, a, sh a music shop. So the, what I'm going to do is, hopefully everybody can see this, um, and I'm not going to start in the center. Can everybody see that that is off center a little bit? So I'm going to make the flat tool, um, the flat loop tool. I'm going to bend that back like that there, make a U. Now there is a reason why I have uh, uh, left this longer and that shorter, and I'll explain that in a minute. Then I'm going to kink this back here. Then I'm going to kink this back here. And I'm going to leave that down there. Then I'm going to get this tool here. Now these tools here, you can get these tools from um, a local hardware store. You, these actually you get from uh, Aldi or Little. Uh, you can uh, Evans is in Ireland and um, sell a set of jewelry pliers. These are brilliant. Um, and what they are, uh, what I use them for is make them rounds. So again, not in the center. Just just a little bit off the center, and I've twisted it around. And what that will do is create a, a, a round instead of a flat. Then I want to pull the tail back. Pull the tail back. So you have two like that there. And you can see that they're splayed. Um, and you can see that the one length is uh, longer than the other. This one's a little bit longer, this short better. That's longer than the other. Now, what I want is uh, the pipe that I've cut already. It is easier to put in if you put it uh, in the long end first and then the shorter end. Push it in. Long end and then short end. Push it in. Now, if you want, you can push it down and you hear that. Um, that there is a perfect loop tool. And that there, I'll use that enough. That's what I've used a lot on uh, on Beckett. Now, what you can do uh, is, and, and I'm going to do it now, you can do it uh, to keep these in place. There's two ways of doing it. There's two ways of doing it. Um, one is, and I don't particularly like this method, um, you crimp it closed there. Now, you can crimp, I have done that in tools when I don't have glue, um, or, and you crimp it there. Uh, the, the reason why I don't like that is uh, when and when it does, it is going to break. Uh, when it breaks, I have to um, cut off the metal and uh, try and get a new uh, guitar string inside it. And it's just fiddly. Uh, whereas what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to use Gorilla Glue. Now, there is a, another product. I'm going to show you that as well. Um, Gorilla glue is something that you can get in any hardware store. Well, in Ireland you can. Uh, this stuff here is what I really like using. And um, that there is strong, but this is, the, we call this in stop motion animation, death glue. And um, uh, you get this from Action Adhesives uh, in Ireland. Uh, now, the, the, I, I, I've gone them, and the, it, essentially what this is, is acrylic glue. And it's two part acrylic glue, just the same as this, that is two parts. It's one part, two parts, you syringe it out 
and uh, it makes it together and, uh, and it goes off. This is this is, works the same, and that's the code A four five four five, and that there will make bucket loads of of, uh, of tools. And uh, what I have is a gun that this goes into. So if you're going to talk to action adhesives, get that, get the gun. It is absolutely brilliant. But um, what it will do is, uh, like you can imagine, uh, it's in its name, uh, and that's why we nicknamed it that deck glue. Um, it's uh, not funny. Uh, really, really is not funny to use that stuff. So how I how do I use uh, either death glue or it's epoxy. This here is uh, cocktail sticks. This here is uh, just a stick it note or uh, you know one of those notepads you put put on your fridge. So this here, um, the first thing I do when I get these, um, and any anybody that gets these will notice. Um, you can buy them really, really cheaply. Sell a tape or gaff a tape the lid on. Once this comes off, uh, um, your cocktail sticks gone everywhere. It's a pin, the right pin. So um, get one out. You just get a cocktail stick. Now this here is the nice and easy way of um, mixing up glue. I'm hoping this is not clogged. Cool. So I'm going to try and get in even amount of glue and that's a bucket load. So what my suggestion is when you finish with the glue, pull the syringe back. Now that came out an awful lot on me. I don't need that amount. But uh, we work with it. So the reason why it's on the sti a stick is that I'm going to use this as a, a mixing uh, tray mixing uh, station like what sometimes what I do in workshops is uh, everybody know what eyes upon is um, body filler uh, if you look at the lid it's nice and smooth on top I think that's universal around the world and um, I pour in silicone into it and uh, I use that as a, a silicone version of this and whatever glue I put onto it, uh, when it goes hard, it will come off because it's made out of silicone. So I'm going to get that in here. And it's not that easy to get into the tube. I'm going to get it onto here as well. This stuff here um, goes off. Well, it says it goes off in three minutes. Am I right? No, five minutes. Um, so, if it's not going off, lads, it's cold. Epoxy doesn't like cold. It just doesn't like it. So, um, warm it up. So, I'm going to try and get this around uh, and down into the center. And I'm going to clean it off in a minute. I'm going to start the other end. Get it in there. It's hard to engage with uh, everybody. Uh, I can't engage with people on uh, on Facebook at, at the minute. But uh, if you have a question uh, or you don't understand something, just ask it. I will answer it. Um, at Instagram, I can see the feed. Um, so you can ask questions if you want, but I it's quite difficult to do this and uh, answer questions at the same time. So now this is um, really why you need the the long end and the short end. The long end goes in first, and the short end goes in. So use the tool to or the cocktail stick actually to get it in and around the guitar string and I'm just going to go off screen for a minute not a minute a couple of seconds and just clean this up with a bit of tissue and that's that now that there um, I don't know, I haven't timed myself, um, but that took about oh, 
10 minutes to make if that and what I like to do is just lock down um, the length of it and uh, get the loops you might want the loop uh, to be on the same plane or one to be on its side it's up to you but that there uh, that there took uh, 10 minutes and that there cost about I don't know um, 4 euro maybe maybe 4.50 that there will last you a lifetime now the other tool I'm going to make I'm going to leave this aside and uh, the other tool I'm actually going to use where is it? There we go. Um, this here, this little piece of metal, is actually off um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the other end of uh, the guitar string that I cut up. So what I'm going to make, actually I'll show you what I'm going to make first, there's the Kemper. As I said, the Kemper is one of my favourite tools. That, and it's that shape there, and it's the wooden, uh, the wooden handle that I love sculpting with. But that there, that shape there, that's what I'm going to make uh, now. Um, so to do that shape, I'm going to bend it. Just bend it and let me see like that, would that be easier? Um, and then I'm going to bend it and bend it again. Now, I'm just going to show you that shape now. Can you see that shape there? Sort of looks like a little mountain. That shape there. No. Get um, the tube that I pre-cut and that little slot in there. You pour that in. That there. Is that there? Now it's a little bit bigger than it. I, I can make that smaller. I can make this pointier. And um, to make it pointier, um, I just put that in between the pliers and point it a little bit. So lads, this here, um, I'm not sculpting today, um, but what I want to do is just show you how you can get your sculpting tools and make them. Now that there is a beautiful tool. That there, um, uh, you'll be able to use that forever. And on the other end, what you could do is uh, make a loop tool. Now, I'll just show you one that I made earlier. This one here. Again, this is out of uh, that bag of K and S I got from Mark's Models. And I made um, the loop tool at the end. That there, that loop tool. And then a round one at the end. That one there. That's pretty handy to have a round one as well. So that aside, I'm not going to put that aside. And uh, what I'm going to talk about now, like what we covered with was the, uh, the my favourite is uh, the W21, um, which is that one there. And um, I love that one there. If that if you have uh, a little bit of money, that's something that uh, I would absolutely buy. Um, the wooden one that I have, uh, you can get a cheaper version of it, is uh, that one there. That there is from Trantis. It's not um, uh, a cheap one, but if you wanted it, if wanted a cheap one, you can buy that one there. Uh, you can get that. You can nearly see that they're virtually um, identical. Um, but that's just orange wood. This is not. Now, the if you have those two tools there and the one I've just made, um, that there. Actually, that's the one. I think that's the one I made. Um, there, the smaller one. You can see the different size guitar string, and um, now if you don't have glue, you don't have to worry, um, because uh, you you can see on this one I've crimped. I don't know if you can see it or not. Can you see it's a little bit flatter? See it? I've crimped it right there, so um, you just push that in there, and there push uh, push it in a little bit more. Um, now I don't like doing that, but I I'm going to show you that you can do that, and that will not come out. I will not come out. The only problem with that method is that uh, if it breaks, you have to uh, cut a little piece off uh, the, the tube and try and get it out. Those four tools are the ones that I mostly have used to sculpt uh, Beckett. This one here, um, now we're gonna, I will want to spend some time on um, uh, stuff that from the kitchen as well. This one here, as a lot of people are asking me, this here is called Scott Foam. 
Um, I get it from Pentonville Rubber. Uh, you can get it from Neil's Materials, you can get it from um, uh, Mold Life. Uh, what this a actually is, is a filter for an aquarium and you get that uh, in pet shops. Um, so, uh, um, buy it. Uh, for, uh, and I use that for uh, wrinkles and smoothing off. I use it uh, generally on the clay. Um, but uh, that I use, they're the set of tools there. That um, If I didn't have anything else, they're the ones I would uh, work with. Uh, I love these ones here, and um, they're, uh, they're for counting money, and uh, that there is all I have used, nothing else. Can you see, have I used it now? Oh yes, um, that fella there. They are all the tools I have used uh, on Beckett. Uh, now Beckett is quite quite big, but the detail um, uh, is, uh, is very, very small, um, so... Um, uh, uh, this will give me large detail and small detail. Let me see. Is that the other end of the bass string or, or a regular guitar string? Um, this one here is uh, the other end of uh, uh, the bass string. If you use the guitar string, it's even nicer again. Let me see if I can find that one. Um, uh, here. Now, this one here, it's even finer again. I think that was Paul who asked me that. Um, the uh, Elon, it's nice to see you too. Uh, that one there is even thinner again, so that will give you beautiful detail. But that is uh, mm -hmm. a guitar string. Um, let me see what one was that. That's an E. So y if you uh, want to do loads of them, it's an E. That's the one that you would uh, get for that. Lads, if there's any questions on, uh, I can't answer them live on Facebook. I can answer live on Instagram. Um, I'm going to try and sort that out. Um, but that there is the ones that I would use uh, for uh, Beckett and they're the ones that I'll be using um, uh, all along. But for the people who have nothing, absolutely nothing, um, well in my head with a little bit of ingenuity, um, it's not really an excuse if we can get clay. Uh, well, speaking of clay, I want to show you that. Now the clay that I get, get, uh, get is called Nuplast. Now, I don't know, I think, yeah, I think that's the right way around in the, uh, Instagram, is it? Let me see. Um, yeah, I think everybody can see that. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, so, uh, the clay I use uh, is uh, sulfur-free plastiline. Um, it's made by Chivant and comes in these blocks of £2 or 906 grams. Uh, you will get that from MBFG, my big friendly get giant, they, and that, they're in Northern Ireland. You get them from the Titanic, um, or um, uh, they're in, Nor in Northern Ireland as well, uh, TCM. And uh, down south, you will get them in RPM, and you will get them in, uh, let me see, GRS. Um, so in England, uh, you will get them in Mold Life and you'll get them in Neil's Materials. Uh, now there's loads of other places you can get it in, uh, but that's where I get it. Now this is a really, really nice clay. What you can do is you can melt it and um, uh, heat it up. I have it in an oven, um, I think you can see it's just there in the oven. Um, so uh, I have it in the oven and uh, I heat it up so uh, it, 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 like, it's actually very tough. You can see that and it's a medium. Um, so uh, I heat it up in cups. Now that the, the oven is a mess. Um, I'm the only one using it at the minute, so that's okay. If I was doing this in the class, we'd clean it at the end of the day because it makes a mess. Um, but what I do is I heat it up so that it's nice, it's nice and warm, it's nice and pliable. That there will cost you to your home a block of that because uh, the price of today seventeen pounds from MBFG. Uh, sorry, seventeen euros delivered to your house. So uh, you could have a block of that. That there is a bucket load of clay. Um, if you can't afford that, uh, I haven't got any here, um, but um, what you can get is new plast. New plast is essentially mola, um, or a plasticine um, that you get uh, in uh, like uh, primary schools and stuff like that. Evans, go to Evans, um, and uh, for Ireland, uh, sorry, around, I didn't expect there to be people from foreign lands here, um, but uh, if you, uh, if you go and get any sort of modelling clay at all, um, uh, what I like is oil-based clay. Uh, this is oil-based. 
The reason why I like it is because it is um, uh, oil-based, will never dry out. If you want to get wet clay, absolutely get wet clay. If that's what you want to use, get wet clay. Um, if you have nothing at all, nothing at all, you could literally, I, I remember as a kid, uh, we would make um, uh, dough and uh, we would scope with dough. Um, not great for detail, but great for having fun. So uh, all this is about lads is us trying to um, get sculpted and, and try and have, have fun doing it. As I said, um, I'm going to go live. I'm, I'm going to commit to everybody out there. And um, I, want to, I want the sculpting community to grow and grow and grow. Uh, I love it. And I think at, the, at this time, um, uh, it, it, we need uh, something that just help us distract ourselves. So I, uh, I'm encouraging everybody to scope. I will go live on Wednesdays at 3 and uh, that's 8 a.m. Um, Pacific, that's 11 a.m. Eastern and um, the, uh, 3 uh, p.m. Uh, in Ireland. So uh, uh, I'll be here Wednesday and I'll be here on Saturdays and I'm going to I'm going to be scoping back at anyway. But if there's anything that people want me to do, uh, or they say, you know, that'd be cool if you could uh, could do, uh, it is a stipple sponge, yeah, uh, that's exactly what it is. But the uh, stipple sponges can be uh, different uh, weights and different uh, aerations in it. Uh, but the stipple sponge works really, really good. Um, so I'm going to be here sculpting, sorry, I'm going between the two. I'm going to be here sculpting, uh, sculpting him. But if anybody has uh, stuff um, that they say, uh, could you show us how to do that? Um, uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, but just tell me what you want. Uh, if, if I can't do it, lads, I would say I can't do it. I can't do everything, but uh, I will try my best. Now, I don't know. Uh, let me see if we get this so you can see. Uh, so, out of your kitchen. So, we're going to spend the last sort of 13 minutes on. I literally raided my uh, kitchen for crap uh, and things that I, was, I uh, looked at and said, I could scope with that. Um, so uh, there's n I don't think there's any reason why everybody out there couldn't start uh, sculpting. Uh, this here is a T-pin. Uh, that there um, uh, is, I have actually got a tool um, here. That tool there, it's exactly the same tool. Um, so uh, that there is a, a T-pin. This here I raided uh, on um, my uh, toolbox as well. Uh, some people might even have, um, that's a rivet. Uh, similar, um, uh, uh, then it's not as sharp, but you can absolutely scope with that. Now, one problem is uh, it doesn't have a handle. That doesn't have, a, uh, this doesn't have a handle either. Now, what I did was, and hopefully I didn't lose it, is I, I hope everybody can see this at home. I found this pen, and this pen is broken. Um, so uh, what I just, uh, said to myself, that'd be really nice as, as, you know, it is a pen, so we could hold it. So what I did was I got a pin and I put the pin inside and now uh, well, I could glue that in there or I could crimp it in there. I could cut that and add that in there. Um, but I'm also going to show you another tool uh, in a minute um, from uh, stuff that I've just found around the house. Um, so that there is a sculpting tool. That will work. This here, let me get rid of these so everybody can see. This here is uh, a, it's a clip. Um, now, uh, that there is quite big, but you could make a bigger loop too. That there is a smaller clip. So what I did, um, I did a Darina Allen on it. And uh, I made this. Uh, it's a very hard metal to work with. Um, but uh, I, I don't mean the hard to work with, but it's, it's actually a hard metal. Um, so I made that shape there, and maybe I should show you the way I showed it to you earlier. It's like a little mountain. And what I did was, I got a, an old pen that's broken, and I put it inside the pen. Now, I have a sculpting tool. So um, that there will work. It absolutely will work. It's, the same, uh, uh, it's not as fine. That's from a Kemp. That is actually from a Kemper tool. It's not uh, as fine as the one from the Kemper tool, but it absolutely will work. Um, I've got a few more heads, and uh, I, I think actually I think I cut this one off. 
and uh, what I did was, uh, this is for one of my kids, it's an old marker and the top of it I cut uh, open and uh, this one I made from this one here and you can see that it is a loop tool. So put the loop tool in here. That there is a tool. So um, lads, there's n no excuse uh, um, uh, to the real hell of tool making. Yeah. Um, uh, there's no excuse for us not to have tools because there's stuff all around the place uh, that we could make tools out of. So what I'm do uh, doing is trying to encourage people um, that uh, let's get some tools together and, and let's, start, uh, let's start sculpting. And I uh, pledge to you that I will be here every Wednesday and every Saturday at 3 o'clock. Share it, uh, friend me, uh, 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 link into me, whatever you want uh, so that we can uh, connect together. I want, to, I want us all to start sculpting and uh, try and get ourselves distracted uh, from all the stuff that's going on all around us. Um, especially after yesterday's news, uh, like, I don't know, I think people are cabin fever anyway and then we hear that. Now this one here, that is a hairpin, that's a sculpting tool. We could literally get in here and um, widen it out a bit and put that into one of those handles that, uh, that we uh, either made it could be one. It could be uh, put into one of these, or if you don't have those materials, can't afford them, and um, we go and we find broken pens. Do not tell me there is not a house with broken pens or pencils or markers and um, a, a hairpin. What else have I got? Oh yeah, this thing. Now, I got really annoyed one day in, in college. Uh, a student came to me and um, way of making an effort really and um, uh, they had absolutely no tools so they're coming to me uh, for a sculpting class and uh, they have absolutely no tools uh, this year I went into the workshop and just grabbed all the crap that was on the floor literally it was just rubbish that was on the floor now this is KNS for the square you could use a uh, pen this here is electrical wire and um, uh, this here is uh, aluminium wire or it could be electrical wire I wrapped it around it and um, I shoved it into um, uh, the KNS could be uh, one of these, and that made an absolutely perfect sculpting tool. And actually, it's bizarrely, uh, bizarrely, uh, when we went on through the uh, the demos, that's the tool that everybody wanted to use. Everybody's got one of these. That there is for taking out your SIM card. Um, that there will give you bucket loads of detail, absolutely bucket loads of detail. And um, uh, you can bend it. It's it's quite strong, um, but you can bend it and um, it creates shapes in it. This here is a spoon. Um, now I know a lot of people uh, out there know him, uh, Julian King uh, from IADT. I've seen him sculpt stuff just with a spoon uh, in clay and they're epic sculpts. That there is just a spoon. So you can hold it and um, it's nice and uh, rounded. It's flat if you want it to be. And uh, that there, spoon. Um, this here, We've all seen some, some stuff like that. It's a, um, a little screwdriver for your glasses. And that there, perfect sculpting tool. Um, this here, cotton bud, perfect sculpting tool. Just cut off the tip. Let me see, have we got a knit? So cut off the tip. Now these ones here are actually fancy. These are um, from Muji. And, um, but that is a sculpting tool. Now, what I wanted to show you as well is uh, there could be loads of people out there with the, the, these and trying to get a piles and piles of stuff here. Like. So, um, I have wooden sticks. Now, you've already seen me use uh, some. And um, that there is a cocktail stick. Brilliant for detail. Absolutely brilliant for detail. So, uh, you could use one of them. Uh, this here is a cocktail stick. So cocktail stick, um, is this cocktail stick? No, no, this is a skewer. Um, so you can see the skewer is quite long. We can make a few tools out of this. So what I did was I cut it and um, I cut a slant on it here. You can see that slant and it's got a point. Brilliant sculpting tool. This is fantastic for uh, sculpting and quite similar um, to uh, the way I would use the Kemper mm. is, is, is this one here. Um, now I'm coming up on uh, five minutes to uh, finish on Instagram, but um, if I leave, 
uh, Instagram, what I'll do is re-engage it, but I'm going to try and wrap up. This here, I was trying to look for one, uh, but what you could uh, use, you could use an orange stick, a cuticle stick. And what that is, is for the ladies, um, maybe some gentlemen, I don't know, definitely not me. Um, it's for pushing in the, cuticle, the cuticles. That is an epic sculpting tool. It's usually made, made out of orange wood, it's really, really strong. Um, but that's what sort of I try to emulate. That there is a what did I say? What a skewer. This here, we've all um, uh, seen these. That there is a, co a coffee mixing stick, rounded end, cut, pointed end, perfect sculpting tool. This here, if anybody, hopefully not, uh, but if anybody ends up in the doctors, take them. Um, he's going to throw it in the bin anyway. And um, you can cut this into shapes, you can cut it um, and so that uh, you have a sharp edge just like uh, this here and uh, absolutely perfect sculpting tools. So all of what you see there, I could sculpt Beckett with. There, I, 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 uh, I no doubt whatsoever about that um, because I don't look at it and say, uh, oh, that's a lov uh, lovely tool and it's 40 euro. I must be able to make buck loads of stuff with it. Um, no, I look at it and look at the shapes of, of, uh, of what it is and I can see, oh, I could use that. So there's loads of stuff there, lads. Um, could I make a hair punching needle? Uh, yes, I could. If somebody wants me to make a hair punching needle, I can do that in another session. Lads, we're probably going to be here for a while. Um, um, and now I'm, I'm not trying to be pessimistic about that, but um, you might be here for a while. So if people want me to uh, teach them something um, and show them uh, how to do something, absolutely. Just send me a text and um, uh, message me. Friend me, lad. Um, I'm not one of these people that uh, will see people friend me going, who the hell is that? I uh, want to get uh, out as, to as many people as, as possible. Follow me, share me, um, and um, uh, I'm on Facebook, uh, I have been for a while, I'm on Instagram, and uh, I'm on, uh, I have a website now, and this hopefully, I'm hoping it is, uh, has gone out uh, live onto the website, um, so you, you should be able to see me with the, uh, the screen up in the, uh, up in the top, um, that's for Instagram, that's, uh, sorry, that's from um, uh, face, Facebook, so as you can see, Bucket loads of uh, uh, sculpting tools and I didn't spend one iota. I didn't spend anything in them. All I did was I got up off my backside and went into the kitchen, went into the crappy drawer that everybody has, either at the top or the bottom, and um, I scored through it and said I could sculpt with that. So give me one sec, I'm going to wrap this up for people who are out there. Now, so, so lads, um, just give me one second. So what I would like to say to everybody is you've seen what I've done there and um, uh, we've made tools um, but some of them I, I didn't need to make. Um, I, I just uh, literally got them from my kitchen. Um, so uh, thank, uh, thank you everybody for watching and uh, uh, Facebook thank you very very much. Um, I'm very grateful that people are actually watching these things and I, and, uh, I just hope that uh, we can spend a little bit of time together and uh, forget about the stuff that's happening at the minute. If this could be on a Wednesday at 3 o'clock, on a Saturday at 3 o'clock, a little bit of solace from all of this, and we just could forget about stuff for a wee while, that, that, that would be important to me. Um, so Instagram, I don't know if you're still there or not. Um, it's a bit of a pain because it'll only let me do an hour. Um, imagine that, you listen to me for an hour. I haven't even gone through, I've gone through about 80% of the stuff I wanted to go through in the hour. And um, I, I will introduce more stuff as, uh, uh, as I go on uh, when I'm sculpting and when I'm using something. But ask me questions and, uh, I, and if there's any particular thing you want me to cover, let me know and I will try and cover it. But uh, thank you again, Facebook, everybody out there. 
uh, like, share it, um, let everybody know that on Wednesdays at 3, Saturday uh, at 3, I'm gonna st uh, I'll be sculpting, so join me, get some play, get some tools. Instagram, um, uh, thank you for joining, and, and again, uh, share, like, and uh, just get the message out there that uh, just get sculpting. There's no excuse, there's no reason why we can't sculpt. And as you saw, everything here costs nothing. You just need some clay. And um, uh, and if you don't have that, we can make it out of flour. And uh, we can play that with our kids. So again, lads, I'm going to sign off. And um, let, give me some feedback, lads. Tell me what's good, tell me what's bad. Um, um, I'm cool with that. I'm all right with criticism. Um, and uh, if I can improve it, let me know. Um, I will try and get the feeds from Facebook. Um, uh, next time uh, it was just difficult uh, on this setup um, but uh, just keep in touch and uh, let me know uh, what you think. Salon.